I do get questions about people asking me what course to study here in the UK. Now, what course to study here in the UK depends on your personal circumstances. If you already have a job at home and you're just coming here to study and go back to that job, you probably want to do a course that is closely related to that job so you can add more value when you get back or get that promotion or advance your career. If you're coming to the UK to study and then transition into work and then you want to live here permanently, you probably want to study a course that is on the shortage of occupation lists. In today's video, we're talking about seven degrees you can study in the UK that can probably get you a work visa. Please do know that not everyone who comes to the UK to study would eventually get a work visa. Getting a work visa here in the UK is not guaranteed. However, if you put the required work, you probably might get a complaint that would be willing to sponsor your visa. Now, all the degrees I'll be mentioning in this video are on the shortage of occupation list. You might be wondering what is the shortage of occupation list. Now, the shortage of occupation list is a list put together by the UK government that comprises of those rules deemed by the UK government to be in short supply within the UK resident labour market. Now, these rules are giving more relaxed and flexible eligibility criteria for the sponsored work visa applications. This means you might get discount on your visa application fee or on your health surcharge fee or probably they might reduce your salary threshold for applying for a work visa. So now in the UK when you're applying for a work visa you must meet a particular salary threshold. So if your job is on a shortage of occupation list they might reduce that salary threshold for you. I have left a link in the description box that leads to the complete shortage of occupation list put together by the UK government. Number one on my list to be engineering. <laughs> if you come to the UK to study a BSc or an MSc in engineering, that is electrical, electronics, mechanical or civil engineering, there's a high possibility that you might get an employer willing to sponsor your visa because engineers are highly sorted after here in the UK. Now, according to Jobs, the average salary of an engineer here in the UK is £48,000 per year. Now, this is 62% higher than the UK's national average salary. If you want to be an engineer here in the UK, you might probably want to join the Chartered Institute of Engineers here in the UK or you might probably want to write one or two professional exams just to advance your career and have the upper edge when it comes to you looking for jobs and going for interviews. The next on my list will be medicine. Now when I mean medicine, I mean any medical course that will probably lead to you being a medical doctor or a specialized medical doctor like a dentist or a gynecologist. Now medical doctors are highly sorted after. As long as human beings are still living here in the UK, they would always be in for medical doctors to look after their health. So medical doctors are highly sorted after. Now, the average salary of a medical doctor here in the UK is £33,384. To be a medical doctor here in the UK, you must write and pass professional and membership exams. For instance, if you're a graduate of a medical school outside the United Kingdom, Switzerland, European Economic Area, that's the EEA, you would be required to write exams like the PLAB. Likewise, to be a medical doctor here in the UK, you would need to pass a DBS check. Now, a DBS check is just to analyze your past to see whether you have any warnings or criminal convictions. The third on my list would be the PGC. Now, you can gain the PGC through a postgraduate certificate program or a taught master's degree. As an international student, I would advise you to go through the postgraduate degree program so you can be entitled to the two years study visa. Now if you do the PGC you will gain the qualified teacher status here in the UK and you qualify to be a teacher. However, I would advise you go for the secondary school teaching option because secondary school teachers are on the shortage of occupation list. According to Jobit, the average salary of a secondary school teacher here in the UK is 37,000 gross per year. Now this is 25% higher than the UK's national average salary. Secondary school teachers here in the UK can earn as much as £60,000 a year as they advance in their 
career. The fourth on my list would be computer science or any IT related courses. Now seeing that the world is becoming more of a digital world, we need tech people to help us transition into that world. Now, people with tech background are highly sorted after here in the UK and there's a likelihood they get employees who are willing to sponsor their visa. The starting salary of a programmer, software developer or people with tech related background would be £26,000 per year and you can look to earn as much as £120,000 a yeah. The final of my list would be cyber security. If you choose to study cyber security, probably at a BSc or an MSc level, you will be looking to become a cyber security specialist. Basically, what a cyber security specialist do is to protect people's data online. To be a cyber security specialist here in the UK, you might be required to write professional exams. And these professional exams will also help you advance in your career. As an entry level cyber security specialist in the UK, you can earn as high as £25,000 a year. Number six on my list would be accounting. <laughs> Almost every organization here in the UK needs accountant for tax accounting or business accounting. Graduates of accounting can expect to earn salaries of up to £40,000. Now, to be a chartered accountant here in the UK, you'll be required to have the ACCA certification. So you might probably need to write and pass the ACCA exams. Now, if you have that certification, you can be looking to earn as high as £48,500 a year with a yearly bonus of £17,300 a year. Studying accounting here in the UK is lucrative not only would you be earning high but you would also be on the shortage of occupation list and you would also have the opportunity for employers to sponsor you the seventh on my list would be nursing now nurses in the uk are in high demand and the average salary of a nurse in the uk is thirty thousand pounds per year while the starting salary is about twenty one thousand pounds per year now, if you're looking to be a nurse in the UK, you will need to pass some competency examination and you might also need to write some professional and membership exams. Most nursing jobs in the UK come with a sponsorship offer. So meaning after your course of study here in the UK, you might probably get a job that your employer is willing to sponsor your visa to be a nurse here in the UK. Nurses are also required to pass a DBS check. Like I said earlier in the video, a DBS check is just to analyze your past to see whether you have any criminal conviction. With this, we've come to the end of today's video. Put your thoughts in the comment section. If you were to come study, work, and live currently here in the UK, what degree out of the seven degree I've mentioned in today's video would you pick? Please do not forget to like this video if you find the information on this video useful. And please share this video to your friends and family you think will find this video useful. Bye for now and I'll see you in the next YouTube video.